Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. I'm very grateful that you have joined me here today on live stream. I am checking now to make sure that everything is working okay. So bear with me as I uh, as I complete this checking process. Okay, everything seems to be working well there. So that, that's great. So very shortly, everyone will join in today. <laughs> And in the meantime, I will chant love, peace, and harmony as everyone connects in. Today is going to be a very exciting day. Today, we'll be focusing on releasing pain. Pain happens to all of us uh, throughout our life. <coughs> Excuse me. There is physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual pain. And so today, we'll be working on the subject of physical pain. So it's going to be a very powerful day, uh, a day in which you will be able to understand the nature of where pain originates and the highest and best way to resolve it. So welcome Vicki, welcome Amy, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll continue to chat while everyone else joins us. And with today's subject, <coughs> waiting for the internet connection to grab and strengthen okay so with today's subject there's actually quite a few uh, things that I've discovered in working with Dr. and Master Shah around this subject of pain and the origination of it as well as the potential solutions for it there are so many different ways in which pain comes to us and it's not always what we might think it is. We could have, for example, a car accident um, or we could have a, a moment where we stub our toe walking around that corner. One of the great values of soul connection, the ability to do soul readings and connect to the soul world, is we can hear answers as to what is the source? Why did I uh, stub my toe? Is there a reason behind it? <clears throat> sometimes it's karmic, sometimes it's not. Sometimes there is simply a message behind it. So it's important for us to connect to that message as well. So when I look on the telephone, it appears that there's no interruption. And when I check my live, uh, live feed on the Facebook, it appears that it is interrupted. So I'm not quite sure which one is accurate, so I just clicked refresh. Also, not as many people are coming at the moment, so I'm wondering if that is because um, the uh, quality of the stream is a bit diminished and people aren't aware of it. But we'll find out as people gather. <clears throat> so I'm going to start by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul. I'm going to invite in all the holy beings, and then I'm going to uh, chant a little love, peace, and harmony to connect us, and then we'll move into the subject matter for the day. Dear all layers of the Divine, the Tao, the Source, dear my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, I love you, honor you, I respect you, and then I bow down to you. I ask for your presence here today to assist us with this uh, live stream to help me to align to the hearts and souls of all those that join today and all those that will watch this video moving into the future. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to serve and I ask that you borrow my mouth today as I offer soul readings, soul healing, and guidance for all those that join us here today. <clears throat> to the soul of my heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, could you please be present? All my downloads, treasures, please turn on in my jong. Please bless me to stay in alignment today and to offer healing when ready as appropriate. To the soul of all those uh, joining us here today, all those who have seen these postings, please come. Please join today. It's a very special day and the opportunity could be available if we can get 25 people joining this live stream, then I will offer a miracle soul healing today for one lucky recipient. So my encouragement to all of you is, I know you may have already made some uh, requests, but if you click on the share button now and just make a little note on that, that going live, <coughs> um, you, could, you could, for example, when you click on share, it gives you two choices. If you take the middle one, then it gives you a chance to type in something. And you can say live right now, if we can get 25 people, then there will be a, a miracle healing offered. This is, and this way we can tell other people about it. 
So welcome Kayla, welcome Kristen, welcome Lynette. Thank you as well for joining me. So I will now, uh, I'm going to continue just a little bit more. I'm going to chant love, peace and harmony as we allow everybody else to connect with us to the source soul song of love, peace and harmony. Please gather as many souls as possible that I can serve them. Please connect heart and heart, soul, soul to all of these and all those that watch in the future, allowing us to serve as many souls as possible. <clears throat> welcome Renee, welcome Kristen. I invite all of you to chant love, peace, harmony with me for one round. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome Yvonne, welcome Tatiana, and welcome Renee. <clears throat> uh, what happens is throughout the day, the numbers go up as more people see the comment on live stream. And so we still have the possibility of reaching 25. Typically it bumps up to between uh, 18 and 20 <clears throat> at about the 30 minute mark. So remember to tell everybody about the live stream now and maybe they'll come because uh, I've already stored the number. There's going to be a special number. Each of you will have an opportunity to choose a number and I've placed it in a hidden place on my website and I'll reveal that hidden place and people can go to verify the number. If you don't believe me when I tell you what the number is, they'll be able to see it there. And in that way, everyone gets an equal shot and heaven chooses anyway. So <clears throat> let's talk about today's subject. When I checked in this morning, dear heaven, what should I focus on? I sat for a while, didn't really receive any direct guidance. I said, should I do soul readings? <clears throat> and the answer was sort of yes, but there was more of a need that was present. So I waited a little bit longer and I heard, do a, a live session on the subject of pain and do pain this whole week. <clears throat> Today, is physical pain. Tomorrow will be emotional pain. Wednesday will be mental pain. And Thursday will be focusing on spiritual pain. And each one of these impact us in its own unique and different way. And more, more flow and more details will come on the different ways that um, it impacts us. But regardless, each day will reveal the opportunity for great healing. And the more people we get, the more the opportunity that I can offer a much bigger healing blessing. It has to be a large enough number of people for heaven to justify the complementary nature of blessing. That's why. Okay, so Kristen says, my dog Chance has been diagnosed with stage 4 lymphoma. I want him to be as comfortable and happy as possible. Is he in pain now and how best uh, may I help this? Yeah, I'm, uh, I can see that the internet connection is on and off, so I appreciate that comment, Tatiana. It's, um, 
not something I have a lot of control over. I've done everything I can to increase the internet speed on my end. So it's between me and Facebook at this point. We'll do our best. <clears throat> so you can ask questions about the different pain that you may have physically. Um, also, that's a fair question for Kristen about his pet. Uh, Kristen, I'm sorry, I'll answer her about her pet. And we'll see what uh, we get with that answer. <clears throat> to the soul of Kristen's dog, Chance, the soul of this condition for Kristen's dog, and any, the question is, this, is this dog going through any pain at this time? Could you please offer any guidance, wisdom, and insights? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what I'm getting, Kristen, is, Kristen, is there, there's <clears throat> like, a, like, a, like a general layer, like a one-two layer. And the layer, I can see that the stream is very slow. The layer is um, in relation to lethargy. It's in relation to the slowing down of the functionality of the body. Um, and therefore the ability to, for the natural endorphins that the valves kick in that keep overall body musculature pain completely where you don't know it. <clears throat> now the dog can feel a little bit of that general body pain because the endorphins are, are, um, are not able to, to work as efficiently as possible. So it's that kind of a, of a very general level one, level two, not too much more of a lethargy. <clears throat> um, so that's what I'm hearing. Thanks for the question. Tatiana asks, I have been having some stomach pain recently. I would appreciate some guidance and some insights. Okay. So I got that it's um, imbalances in the um, in the uh, fire element, which has a relationship to anxiety, and in the uh, metal element, which has a relationship to sadness and grief. And that it's mostly both those elements are associated with the large and small intestine. By the way, <clears throat> the uh, metal element is normally associated with the lungs, but its paired organ is the large intestine. And the uh, fire element is normally associated with the heart, but its paired um, organ is the small intestine. And uh, when I checked which one is more predominant, it's actually more predominant to the small intestine or the condition of anxiety. Um, so the message is to do uh, practices around that, bringing balance to the fire element. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so you can ask, for example, any of the calligraphies to help you bring balance to your small intestine and the fire element and the associated emotion of anxiety. And uh, that should, should assist you, especially if it's come see, come saw. You'll probably notice that it is in relation to a flare-up of anxiety on some level. And Kristen says, thank you, Master Paul. At some point I'd like to know uh, if he actually feels about this, know how he feels about this himself. Thank you for your insights.
You know, curiously enough, what I'm hearing is um, Chance is, is, is a good role model in that he's like, you know, it is what it is. I'm enjoying myself. I like my life. I'm happy with my life. <clears throat> um, heaven's telling me to teach your animal forgiveness practice that it will help a lot um, that you just call the animal soul and teach them to do forgiveness to all those that they may have harmed that has brought this condition uh, to him so that will help I don't know if you've checked into other methodologies or other methods of healing you might want to contact Katie uh, Katie O'Shea she shows up on here I can put you in connection with her <clears throat> her animal has divine healing paws and uh, it's an extraordinary healing ability and animal to animal and I actually find that it works sometimes better than human healing uh, using our treasures because we have our mind we get in the way we, we have our blockages that get in the way <clears throat> and animals are relatively um, free of conditions they don't judge they don't criticize they have very open hearts and they just offer the blessing accordingly and so um, that might be something you want to look into for your uh, for your beloved dog so Kayla says I love these live shows thank you Master Paul for offering your time and service you're very welcome so so far I see that 11 people have joined us um, I'm going to do a flow now from uh, whoever wants to come in on this subject of physical pain and uh, see what kind of additional insights we get The subject of pain in the human body has many deep and varied associations. Emotional pain can trigger physical pain. Mental pain can trigger physical pain, often in the form of tight muscles. spiritual blockages can trigger physical pain sometimes it is simply an action of not being fully present to the environment that you're in that creates this result regardless of the source one of the unique characteristics of the human body is its ability to naturally heal the area the human body as described earlier in the Master Shah, Master Guo teachings, is made up of cells that vibrate. And in these teachings, there is spoken <clears throat> that suffering is excess energy or insufficient energy. Excess energy and matter, insufficient energy and matter. And they are not balancing themselves in relative balance. There is either too much energy and insufficient matter or vice versa pain in almost every case is as a result of excess energy and not enough matter exchanging in equilibrium therefore the verbiage of inflammation <coughs> is reflective of pain why does a soul healing work for the condition of pain your master has taught first there is soul or shen which is soul heart and mind then there is chi which is energy then there is jing which is matter soul is the message the message leads the heart the heart leads the consciousness or mind the mind directs the energy the energy moves and changes the matter the reason soul healing works <clears throat> is because at the level of soul the message is changed 
which changes the message to the heart, which gives orders and directions to the consciousness to change the energy and move the energy, which shifts the imbalances associated with energy and matter exchange. The movement of the energy brings the healing to the area where the matter is and adjusts the imbalance. This is what occurs because the message is changed. When a soul healing is offered, virtue is what causes the message to change. Virtue is good karma. Virtue is something that is not normally abundant in everyone's bank account in heaven. When you originally spot from Creator and became individual souls as part of the whole of creation, you had 100% virtue, but choices and messages, and the change of messages split into yin and yang, good virtue, bad virtue. It is the combination of this that interacts with your life on a daily basis that brings you wonderful experiences and sometimes painful experiences. When a soul healing is offered, a request is made through the channel of Dr. and Master Shah, which is directly connected to Creator. As a healer of this modality, that channel runs through that healer. The request is made, goes through the channels to the source. Virtue is released according to whatever is divinely appropriate and healing is offered using the shifting of the message at the level of soul for the individual or the condition that is being requested. At the level of soul, shift occurs which activates the consciousness the energy and then the matter. Therefore, the healing can be immediate or it can take a little bit of time depending on the depth and degree of the blockages of the message <clears throat> and the duration of the matter stagnation at the level of the physical being so that if it is a relatively new condition, it is easier to readjust the energy and matter. And if it is a long-standing condition, it takes more time to adjust the energy and the matter. This explanation applies to all aspects with minor variations for the emotion, the mental, and the spiritual. More will be shared tomorrow. This is the explanation for the subject matter of physical pain. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you for that explanation. You know, I know uh, some of that logically. <clears throat> and as, as the, the voice is coming out, I am, you know, I can hear it. I'm saying, okay, yeah, I, that, that makes sense. I'm glad that came out fluidly. Because when I teach it, it actually does not come out that fluid <laughs> because I'm using my mind and trying to be in flow when I'm consciously teaching with my eyes open. But you know, there's people in the room and they're interacting with you and um, that jumps in and can, can alter what comes out of the physical mouth. But when I'm in flow like this with my eyes closed, it tends to be a lot smoother. It's very nice. <clears throat> so, welcome. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. Of course, always the clearing when I joined the live stream. I didn't have any of this uh, frog throat when I started. So welcome Crystal, welcome Pat, welcome Wakur, welcome Donna, and welcome Master Alan. Very, very wonderful to have you all here. Very grateful to have you all join me. So please uh, ask any of the questions that you have around the subject uh, specific to your pain. Uh, I have done this once a time a few weeks ago, probably three or four weeks ago. And so, uh, don't ask for the same area, because heaven might give you the wrong answer if you ask for the same area they've already told you once. <clears throat> so ask for something different. Uh, and I like the opportunity to answer questions. Uh, you could ask about a loved one as well, 
because sometimes you know your children your parents one of them might be suffering <clears throat> and they might not be open to how this service can help them but I can ask in the flow for you I am so sorry I apologize about the frog throat um, that I can ask in the flow for you how you can call forth their soul and do forgiveness practice with and for their soul which will absolutely help them quite a bit so do ask some of those questions as you have those now so Donna has asked her heart is heavy and she would like some guidance okay to the soul of Donna Donna's heavens teams guides angels saints the soul of this condition and the underlying uh, reasons for it love you Ani appreciate you respect you could you please come at this time offer Donna whatever guidance wisdom and insights is most relevant important and necessary for her to hear at this time that can assist her with this condition thank you thank you thank you hey uh, he oh, he, uh, he, uh. Hey, ah, he, oh. Yo, he, ah, he, ah, he, ah, he, oh. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, he. How? This is Donna's soul. My beloved Donna, the reason you are having this experience is because you have a bit of depression occurring in relation to the inability to resolve the looping specific to problems you are observing with your relatives you feel a bit restricted in your ability to resolve this you know that there's really not much you can do based on what you observe you cannot share it with them and you feel a bit restricted in the ability to share with others for some reason <clears throat> this inability to have your feelings heard understood and validated and your own inability to clearly um, honor yourself with this need to express the true emotions you're feeling and the true needs that you're wanting to fulfill have left you in a place of closedness and this is the source of your heaviness <clears throat> my encouragement as your soul is to love yourself specific to defining what you are really feeling and needing and using the soul world and the applications available to you to transform this towards yourself you can ask the soul or souls of those that have externally brought some of this uh, learning opportunity to you to also do the forgiveness practice to also <coughs> receive some of the value of any practices you may do using the calligraphies etc but this is the source and the solution is not too far away if you um, employ this you're very loved and I am so honored as your soul to be able to connect with you in this way how 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 thank you thank you thank you so I hope that guidance assists you Donna please let us know if that feels accurate and thank you Lynette for your response and Mylana uh, welcome thank you for joining so again <clears throat> if we can get up to 25 people that's just one more person each um, I encourage you to hit the share button at the bottom of this and when you do uh, it'll ask you do you want to share immediately or do you want to choose different ways to share if you choose the middle one you can actually type in something along with your share and you can share it to your page or a friend's page someone that you know might be online at this time and you can invite them telling that right now if they come live there's a possibility of experiencing a soul healing miracle and this way more people can have the opportunity to receive a huge blessing okay <clears throat> oh wonderful thank you for that response Donna I'm very happy to hear that that was beneficial for you 
<clears throat> oh, I'm so, so dis disappointed with my, my throat being like this. I really want to resolve this. Again, I apologize. So Kayla says, uh, my grandmother, Judy Holt, has a lot of physical ailments and pain in her old age. She has been having issues with her pacemaker and having related issues. I'm not totally sure um, how to word her condition. Is there any guidance you can offer for her to serve her? She is not yet open to soul healing on the mind level. Okay, so you're the soul of Judy Holt, the soul of these series of conditions and anything else that is presently current with this beloved soul. The soul of uh, the various pains she is experiencing, the soul of the highest, best, the most uh, beneficial guidance, wisdom, and insights that can be offered to our beloved Kayla at this time that can best assist her grandmother. Could you all please come forth and assist in whatever way is highest and best and most appropriate at this time? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, oh, yeah, hey, uh, hey, hey, oh. How? Dear beloved Kayla, your dear most beloved grandmother is basically tired. She is tired of being in pain. She is tired of this life. She is sticking it out because that is what her religion teaches her to do. But inside, she is tired and a bit depressed. So much of this is induced by her energetic pulse, if you will. The best way to serve her is to use the Da'ai calligraphy. Call her forth each time you practice with it and additionally place her photograph in the calligraphy book. Ask each time you open the book, reinforce the prayer and request that you make to assist her with changing her mindsets, attitudes and belief about life, about how she needs to open up to soul and soul healing. Teach her forgiveness as well, her, at the soul level, when she does this. This combination will start to lighten her load. Also teach her about gratitude by being <clears throat> one that she sees in gratitude. So with each communication, allow her to hear your gratitude for life, especially in the face of things that are difficult. The hearing of this might not be immediately received, it might not even be snapped at a bit, but after the fact she will contemplate it and she will realize that there is wisdom in it. You can also even say something to her like, I'm so grateful for you grandma for teaching me to always look for the silver lining in things, for teaching me to be grateful for all things. Whether she has actually said this or not is not necessarily of importance. What is relevant is that she receives a message similar to that. She will not remember if she has said that or not, and it is highly likely at one point in your life that she has. And so in this reminding to her, it will give her some shift of the message that will assist her and assist you as you are offering blessings through the Da'ai calligraphy. This is our message for you today. Ha, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so I'm sure that that will help. Let me know how things go. So Pat JD has responded. I would like to be guided about the organs in my lower and middle Sanjiao uh, misalignment, which I have had many problems with over the 30 years. Okay, so for those that are new, Sanjiao is San means three and Jiao means space or area. And there are three spaces, uh, larger areas in the body. There's the upper, middle, and lower jaw. Upper uh, jaw is from the uh, chest cavity from the um, top of the diaphragm up. Then you have the middle, the, the top of the diaphragm to the middle diaphragm, which is roughly your um, belly button area. That's the middle jaw. And then the lower jaw is everything below that to the base of the uh, torso. And so uh, Pat is asking about the, the lower and middle jaw area misalignment specific to the organ blockages. <coughs> uh, 
To the soul of Pat, Pat's Heavens Team, Guides, Angels, and Saints, love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you as appropriate. The soul of Pat's uh, condition as requested. Any um, imbalances in these areas, guidance, wisdom, and insights that can assist her uh, to help realign these areas as much and as quickly as possible on any additional wisdom that can bring balance. Please come forth at this time, borrow my mouth, assist pot as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? This is the soul of the saint in charge of the five elements for the human realm. In all of humanity, there is a little known truth that each of the five elements runs through all humans and that each human is interconnected as a result of this and many other subtle layers of energy. You, beloved Pat, can benefit greatly by chanting the five elements for all souls of humanity in balancing their five elements and the associated organs. Be sure to not do this from yourself or any of your abilities or treasures. Simply call on the five element mantras in the Tao Song Tao Dance book. Use the treasures from those books, including the transmissions. Always say as appropriate. Those treasures do not transmit to others, but you can turn on that treasure that you have received and as appropriate, ask it to offer blessings to those in the world to balance the wood element. And then the next day to balance the fire element and so forth. To repeat, do not use any of your own abilities or treasures, only the ones that Master Shah has placed in the books. Use only the Master Shah chant and ask it to serve others' organs in association with that one element. This service will bring balance to the larger whole and assist you with any imbalances that you may have. Afterwards, be sure to bow down and it is of great value in advance to guide humanity in a forgiveness practice as well. This practice could help many, many souls, and it's my encouragement to all of those listening to this to offer a service of this nature. The key element is service to others using the power that your beloved Master Shah has brought to earth at this time. This is my message to all of you. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you to that most incredible uh, uh, being. I was unaware that there is a saint in charge of the human realm for the five elements. But now that I am, I will definitely be connecting with that soul more. So thank you for that uh, wonderful question. And Kayla Darning says, I am so grateful <coughs> for the guidance from heaven. That was so amazingly accurate, and I will follow the guidance to the absolute best of my abilities with the Da'ai calligraphy and with soul conferencing. <coughs> uh, my grandmother is an incredibly tough woman, and she has taught me perseverance and respect. Thank you again, Master Paul. Um, you are very welcome. And I do have a, a request of those who, who have received soul readings. This is a, a request. I'm building up testimonials on my website. So like the soul readings here today. 
if those um, resonated with you, if there was value for you, you could even copy paste your question and copy paste your response. Uh, and that would be sufficient. I could go back later, but I stay so busy. Um, uh, and I also need your permission. Uh, so if you'd be willing to, to copy paste your question and the response that you have um, regarding your, uh, your gratitude and, and you know the accuracy that you felt it had for you uh, and send it to me in an email <coughs> or uh, post it on a Facebook message along with I give you permission to use this um, as a testimonial on your website then I would truly appreciate that it gives other people an opportunity because when people find me you know they wonder well you know this is you know it's hundred and twenty dollars is it really um, worth it is it gonna work and I don't know about you but whenever I go to any website whether I'm gonna buy a something for for my cell phone or whatever it is I always look at the testimonials because I want to know if it's real if it's gonna work if I'm gonna be throwing away my money and so I truly appreciate that service it's a it's a great way to to assist others because you know that solar rating might save their life um, but it won't if they don't connect because there's no trust so thank you so much for that that additional service so Andrea welcome sister great to see you thank you for joining Andrea is a soul sister I met her back in uh, Boulder Colorado in 2009 and uh, I just I was looking at her I said my goodness I look in the mirror and I just see the female version of me and so we chatted for a while and then we, we captured Master David and he checked and I think he said 48 lifetimes as brothers and sisters so call her my sister <clears throat> so she has a question hi Master Paul can you help with guidance for my kidneys <clears throat> yes I will ask To the soul of Andrea, Andrea's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, we love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you as appropriate. We ask for your presence and guidance, wisdom, and insights at this time. And dear uh, leader of the Akashic Records, as appropriate, could you please offer any additional guidance, wisdom, and insights for our beloved Andrea for this condition? Uh, and what also any uh, insights of what she can do to better assist herself? There are three things occurring with you, my dear. One is there is a significant blockage between your Kundalini snow mountain area through the back of the jowl it is impeding several variable areas one is of course the kidneys and the kidney strength two it is impeding the fire water balance Three, it is blocked equally in the area of the fifth soul house. There are multiple relations associated with this, including fear of speaking out, thereby the blockages in the fifth soul house, the throat. Fear of trusting that your financial conditions will be taken care of and offering service a lack of trust in your abilities with the powers that you presently have and a combination of all of these in association with self-doubt and self-worth tied down to how can I move forward on my soul journey when I don't have enough finances, etc., etc.? This loop has created a pressure on you that has not allowed you to do what your heart truly wants to do. 
for you, my beloved daughter. It is recommended that you open Master Shah's video DVD in the Healing and Transmission book and to give yourself 21 days commitment to chanting and practicing and doing the soul dancing at the end. This is one hour of dedicated practice. with your mind the entire time on your Ming Min area, Snow Mountain area. Ask the souls of the seven soul houses to come into this area while you practice. So even though you're chanting for those, your mind is in this point. If you do not feel substantially more aligned, activated, and healthier, then I would be quite surprised. You must have at least one consistent practice to stay ahead of the mindsets that are harming you and then do a baby step of offering a healing for money. This is Yen Wan Ye. How? And then, so what I'm going to ask you to do, Andrea, is check with me later and I'll, I'll give you some insights about how to ask for money for your service because you're doing miracles and you're not giving yourself enough credit because you're not doing it enough and you, you don't really realize the value of what you have and you're uncomfortable asking for money. So um, connect with me later, okay? <coughs> okay, so Yvonne, uh, Pat JD says, greatest appreciation and gratitude to the saints involved. Master Shah, Master Paul for the wealth of information just bestowed upon us. Sorry about kicking the uh, camera there. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Yvonne says, I would like to know how's my kidneys and spleen doing? I'll check percentages for you, Yvonne. Your spleen is in pretty good shape, it's more than 90%. Your kidneys are around 78%. So more practice on the kidneys will, will assist you a lot more on the water element, probably because your fire element is so active with the heart that you need more, more water balance. Okay? So welcome, Lily. Well, welcome, Esther. Um, I see that the maximum that we've had so far has jumped up to about 13, 14. Uh, people coming in live. So I, I deeply apologize I'm unable to offer the highest level of healing I was considering offering today. But what I will do is I will offer a soul operation to one lucky person. Okay? So <coughs> this will be for a condition of pain. So um, each of you make your request along with your number. So the numbers between 0 and 100, pick a number between 0 and 100. Make a request for something where you have a physical pain. If you don't have a physical pain, then um, I will check Heaven's Guidance as to what might be most appropriate for you and offer a, I'm going to offer a soul operation for that area. Okay? So very quickly post, uh, I'm going to give it 5 minutes and then I'm going to check in on your numbers. There's uh, 11, 12, 13, or 14 of you. I'd love to see 14 posts. And uh, make sure your condition that you want blessing for, a number between 0 and 100. Go. In the meantime, I am going to do a little chanting. <coughs> to serve us all. <coughs> Dear the soul of Hei Hung Hung Ar Shi Wong Yo. Please turn on. Please offer a blessing to all those in the line, all those that watch this, so that they can receive blessings to balance their seven soul houses. As I chant, Hey hung hung or she won you. Hey hung hung or she won you. Remember Donna, to request what it is you're wanting. Hey hung hung or she won you. Hey hung hung or she won you. Hey hung hung ar shi wong you 
Hey hung hung are she wong yo 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 Yo wong yi shi er hong hong he 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 Hey hung hung er shi wong yo my Lana, what's your number? You need to give me a number. Hey hung hung ar shi wong yo. 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 Hey hung hung ar shi wong yo yo. Now, not the pain level, Melana. I need to see what number between zero and one hundred you choose. If you are closest to a number that is already predetermined, then you would be the demonstration that I use. So I need a number between zero and one hundred, Melana. Thank you. Hey hung hung ar shi wong yo. 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 Okay, and so I uh, we're missing about four or five people. Uh, Kayla, I don't see your request in there. If your mom, brother, or sister with you, you can put them in there. Um, Esther, I don't see a request from you or Lily. Kristen, I don't see a request from you yet. Stephanie, I don't see a request from you. Andrea, I don't see a request from you. Can't serve you if I don't see a request. <clears throat> okay, Amy, 75. Okay, so I'm assuming there's no pain, Amy. If there is, make sure you let me know what it is. Hey, hung, hung, are she wong you? Hey, hung, hung, are she wong you? Hey, hung, hung, are she wong you? Hey hung hung ar shi wong yo Hey hung hung ar shi wong yo Two more minutes Quickly Hey hung hung ar shi wong yo 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 Okay <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys 60 more seconds I'm hearing that some of you uh are not saying anything on purpose so that others can um, can um, uh, I'm reading a comment sorry I got lost because I was reading the comment so Lily, I'm a little confused. I see uh, a number 60, thank you. Um, and yours is number 50. Uh, burning left arm pain, 50 to 100. Okay, I didn't see who it was for when you put the 60, Lily. I'm not sure who that's for. Guidance, Heaven's Guidance 55 for Kristen, Amy, pain and base of both thumbs. Okay, very good. Okay, so thank you all for posting. Now I'm going to post 
the number. I put, put it on my web uh, page, on a special page on my website that's private. Only those who I uh, give this link to, which I just posted right now, it's going to pop up in a minute, can click on that link and go see that number. So don't do it. Uh, now, if you do click on it, it may take you out of Facebook. I don't really know for sure. But you can right click and say open in a new window. You can see I just put it in there right now. And when you go to that page, you'll see that the winning number is 57. Okay? So, <clears throat> there are two people. Excuse me, one, I believe, that is, um, let's see, 55. 57 is two away, and 60, 57 is three away. So in this case, it looks like our beloved, I have to remember who did that, Kristen Rojas may have be the one here that wins. Heaven's Guidance and number 55, okay? And then the other two we're three away. Yeah. So the number is 57. You can even check if you'd like to go to the website to see. So congratulations, Kristen. Let me check as to what was going to be best for you for this blessing. Give me a minute. For our beloved Kristen. What will assist her most is a blessing for the message center. Although there is not physical pain necessarily, there is blockages that are inhibiting her in many areas and a blessing of this nature will assist her most. You are very blessed. How? Oh. Okay. <coughs> so, I will offer this soul operation for our beloved Kristen. Please prepare. Sit up straight. Place your feet flat on the ground. Back away from the back of the chair to receive the highest blessing. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth near the front of your teeth gently. If any of you have third eye, please share whatever you may see. I will also do a soul reading afterwards and I will make a special offer for this blessing for all those that may be interested. Soul operation for our beloved Kristen Rojas for the message center. Whatever divine decides, divine knows best, as appropriate. Begin. Huh. Opening. Clearing. When Paul, Master Paul, raised his hand, a space in heaven opened up over our beloved Kristen. Heaven's light came to her message center and as the blessings are occurring heaven's generals and soldiers have come to this area there they are bringing bolt cutters and cutting open cages and barbed wire around her heart some of this has been self-imposed to protect her heart they are also using special instruments to open deeper layers of the very impregnable cages that has been placed in this area. There is a great softening that is occurring as the light continues to pour in. The Divine has released many scrolls from heaven 
there are two specific elixirs in vials that are being poured into her message center at this time. These vials carry two messages of love and trust. They are rewiring the messages that had been in her heart. Closing, smoothing. There has been so much light infused in this area that her ability to see with much greater clarity her mission will be much more obvious and more empowered. This blessing has been given a boost uh, by her spiritual father, Master Shah, because of her dedication to serve others and her desire to grow soul healing in her area. Utilize this blessing well. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So congratulations, Kristen. Great, great, great. <clears throat> <clears throat> so thank you all for joining. Now here's what I want to offer to all of those that are live here today. Um, I, will, I will extend this offer to anyone that views this uh, and I will extend it to a family member. One family member. Yeah. So what I will do is I will offer a soul operation which has a normal honor fee of $75. I will offer it for 50. But here's what else I will do. For anyone that does that, they can get a second or third one for 25 each. So in this way you can have several areas impacted very positively. So the first one is 50, a second or third one